Hey everyone, Daniel here from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to add a like and subscribe button animation to your YouTube videos, such as this one, using Corel Video Studio, so stick around. So I'm using Corel Video Studio 2018, and let's uh, import and get the files that we need here. So first we want to add a backdrop. So we'll go down here to images and if you're not on colors by default it remembers the last thing that you were on so it could be objects or something else. If it happens to be on something other than color just click in the drop down menu and choose color. And using the green color is usually the best and this is why they call it a green screen typically because most other objects in the video shoot is not going to be green so it will have a great contrast there if you have something else that you're using that will be green then you're going to want to use a different color which could be blue typically so we've got our green screen now we want to import our other pictures that we're going to be using so we'll go up to media and I'm going to insert my files. So I want to get uh, my buttons now. You can see I've got the green in the background. I had some problems with this particular image where it wouldn't do transparency on them. So I had to match the background color to my green screen. So I'm going to import those images and I also need my arrow. So I'm going to start off with the gray button. So I'll have that there. So I've got a little thumb there for the uh, un light button and I'm gonna just narrow that down a bit and then I'm gonna grab the blue one for my after effect which will show when the button is clicked so we've got before and after now I'm going to need to add another overlay so I'm going to need to click here to the track manager and change the overlay from 1 to 2 and hit OK now I can grab my arrow and put that into the next uh, overlay. And drag that all the way over. Now it's a little bit on top of here. So we want to have that arrow to go up and click on that and it will change color. So what we need to do is with this we're going to change the duration so it goes that far and I'm gonna move the pointer to be just where I'd like it to be so that'll be where it's gonna do the click and at this point now if I right click on the image of the arrow there's customized motion and at this point I can drag this down a little bit maybe over here so then it will go up and over so I'll hit OK and if I go to the beginning of my track here we'll see what it looks like so that so far it shows that it moves up there and then it disappears so I need to add another image of the arrow that is kind of static and have it sit there now I might want to have it come down maybe straight down this time it depends how you want it to appear and then we'll right click on that image and go to customize motion and here it will be drag it up so it's about where it was on the other one as close as possible it's going to be 
very challenging to uh, make it exact, but you want to have it as close as possible so it doesn't look too off. We'll hit OK, and let's go to the beginning of the track and see what it looks like. So it appears as though it, the mouse moves up, clicks it, and then it turns it into a blue icon now. So if we want now, w without any sound, it's a little hard to have that feeling that it's actually clicking it. So I'm going to import a sound effect. And I've already got a sound effect that I've downloaded here. And I'll link to it in the description below where I got my free uh, sound effects. And I'm going to bring that into voice and line it up just where the click is supposed to happen. So let's go back and see what this looks like. Now it actually looks like it worked. So we have a fully functioning uh, clip here now. So there's a couple of things now that you might want to uh, speed it up a bit because that's two and a half seconds. It's a little bit um, a little bit long. I'll just manually drag it so it's approximately half of what it was. So for at a minute 12 it jumps It's not perfect, but let's drag that and then we'll drag this over to line it up. And then we'll also resize this so it's a little shorter. And then we're going to have to line up our sound effect again and then have our backdrop line up. So let's see what it looks like now. Pretty good. So instead of it lasting two and a half seconds, now it only lasts just over a second. Because it's just a quick effect that we want to have on here. So now that we've got that in place, we can save this and I'm going to save the file. So I'm just saving the project file here. So in case if I want to edit it at all later on, I can do that. And then finally, we will want to export the file. So we'll go up to share and change where we're going to be doing this. Now, I, I've already got it in the place where I want to put it. So otherwise, you would hit the folder here to browse. And I'm going to give it a name. and then hit start and it's going to export the video so it'll be the same as exporting any other video it says it's rendered successfully and that's it so now if we go back to edit we want to try this out so I'm going to start with a new project so if I have a uh, clip and maybe for the sake of uh, doing this, we'll just add this one in here because it's more than long enough. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of video, just for the purpose of testing it. So we've got the first part done where we've created the animation. Now we want to insert it into a video. So this is what we're doing. We're going to, first I'm gonna get rid of this so it's not confusing because I want to insert the media and I've got my animated uh, now that's the animated subscribe I got my animated like clip so I'm going to open that one and I'm gonna grab that and bring it into the overlay 
and you can put it wherever it is that you want that clip to appear. So there's two things here. First, you probably want to adjust the size of it. So we can go in the alignment options and fit to screen. Then we want to have this green disappear. So it's in the mask and chroma key under effects. And then we'll go to apply overlay options. And it's already chosen chroma key and it's figured out the color automatically. And because it's matched that, it's already showing that it's uh, disappeared here. So we want to, um, yeah, we don't have to press OK or save or anything uh, over here. So we want to just look at the video clip and see how, how this works. So it seemed to run in the middle of the screen and then the blue is not showing for the blue uh, like button. So we're going to need to adjust that. So when it goes from gray and it kind of gets lost in the company name. So we're going to want to move it as well. So we can highlight this and we can move this around. So I might want to have it right there so we can see how that looks. And I can click around to see. Now th this is probably not the best video to look at because it is not showing the clip properly. And it seems like maybe there's an issue with the blue on this one, the way we did this. So I'll have to go back and edit it. So I had a little but bit of trouble with, with my first clip that I made because the blue color didn't go very well with the green. So when I did the overlay to make the green fade away so that you could see the actual video footage and only the pictures that we wanted to show, the blue was also being taken out as well. So I had to choose a darker color blue. So we're gonna try this again now. So I'm gonna grab a video that I wanna have, and then I'm going to import the clip that I exported previously for my animated like. And now I'm gonna grab that and put it in the overlay. And I'm gonna put that just over enough here. So I can see here the gray and then where it switches to the blue. So that's fine. Now I want to go in the options. Now if this is already on and it's not working, all you have to do is turn it off and back on again. So then it, it shows correctly. Now the problem we had before is when it got to the blue part, you couldn't see that uh, thumb at all. We just saw the gray. So I'm going to click over where it's blue and now you can see it's blue. So let's watch this whole thing. Actually. Actually. And it actually works. Okay, so now we might want to move this around. So while it's full visible size, uh, maybe we'll throw it right there and that might look funny. Let's see. Actually. Actually. And there you go. So now we've got that and it's, as you can see, very easy to just drag around on the screen and position it where you want. And you can see from my mistake that I had earlier that having the wrong color doesn't match up. And this is exactly what I was talking about before with the green screen. It doesn't always have to be green because if you have a color that's going to be too closely match then it's going to wash it out and you won't see it and this seems to be what happened the blue was just too light of a color blue and it didn't work so we had to go darker so i could have either changed the color of the green screen or just changed the color of the blue thumbs up 
that's it. That's how you create an automated like button. And it would be the exact same thing for the subscribe button, which I've done here as well. So let me know what you guys think of this. If you'd like to see a walkthrough of how to do the subscribe button as well, I can do another video just on that. And uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And we'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks. Bye for now.